So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fort Snelling's version of a World War II USO radio show. What you're seeing today is a rehearsal of the show Bob Hope would do in October of 1942. The show is broadcast from the Hollywood Canteen, 1451 Cayunga Boulevard in Hollywood. And the canteen would have been open just 10 days by the time that uh, Hope and the crew arrived. That Hollywood canteen broadcast would be one of the first that Bob Hope would do. And before the war was over, he would do 135 shows from military bases all over the world during World War II, some of them along the front lines. Now, we made a few changes of necessity, but some of what you'll be hearing today is directly from that 1942 show. So, if you're ready, and I have to remind you, you're part of this, so we'll need your applause and your laughter, if there is any, and attention as we return to 1942. So watch me for applause. The special guests today are the jazz ensemble of the Red Bull Show Band. A man of a thousand sounds, Private Steve Comala, our own version of the Andrew Sisters. And because this is just a rehearsal, I'll take the part of Bob Hope. Now, locations have been changed to enhance the experience. Ladies and gentlemen, it is June 21st, 1942. Part of Bob Hope's touring company has arrived in Minneapolis. They decided to make an impromptu stop at Fort Snelling to not only increase morale, but to practice their lines and songs for that October 1942 show. We should also tell you that Hope Show was sponsored by a toothpaste. Does anybody remember Pepsodent? Stand by. Hey, hey, Susie Q, what's cooking with you? Your teeth look whiter than new, new, new. My teeth aren't new, but my toothpaste is new Pepsodent. Get with it, kids. New package, new flavor, new formula, too, means brighter smile for me and you. You'll wonder where the yellow went when you brush your teeth with Pepsodent. For the safety of your smile, use Pepsodent twice a day. in Minneapolis, Minnesota, The Pepsodent Show, starring Bob Hope and his guest stars, the 34th ID Red Bull Show Band, and Minnesota's own Andrew Sisters. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob Old Fort Snelling Hope, telling you soldiers to use Pepsodent because even though your toothbrush may be GI, your teeth will never be... P.U. <laughs> Fort Snelling is a reception center inducting men and women into the military. And did we have a nice one when we arrived? The show band was practicing. They were so outstanding, we asked them to stop over and give us their rendition of Glenn Miller's In the Mood. Gentlemen. <laughs>
Hollywood Canteen, and the car's engine is purring. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fort Snelling's own man of a thousand sound effects, Private Steve Comala. Come on, Bob. Um, let's get back to the script. The car was purring, but then it started to miss. It did start to miss, and I see a service station up ahead. And I swerve <laughs> right in front of an oncoming bus. <laughs> and then I screech to a stop, <laughs> tripping the alarm bell. Ding, 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 ding. And am I ever happy that I pulled into this service station? Hi, soldier. What seems to be the matter? Uh, something's wrong with the engine. Well, should I check your water? No, that's all right, even if I do drool a little. See, this left rear tire is kind of worn. Want me to examine it? <laughs> uh, I must remember to get my nails shortened. Well, let me at least spray your windshield. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have a windshield. Oh. Listen, give me about five gallons of gas, and I'll try to make it to another shop. I'm sorry, it only takes three gallons. Three gallons? Are you sure? Of course. Just look. It's so full, I can't get the radiator cap on. The no, radiator? Really? <laughs> really? Listen, wasn't there another guy that worked here? You mean that guy with the flat feet, fallen arches, asthma, rheumatism, and lumbago? Yeah, that guy. Well, they draft, drafted him as a commando. <laughs> Say, where'd you get that black eye? Ah, I went driving with a girl who works at Douglas. 
swing shift? Yeah, she swung before I could shift. <laughs> <laughs> Say, listen, how about you and me going out tonight? Okay. I don't mind going out with a swell dresser like you. You sure know how to do a zoot suit justice. Yeah, well, get a load of this jacket. Comes all the way down to my ankles. What's the good of that? I'm the only jitterbug in town who can go out dancing while he's having his pants pressed at the same time. <laughs> say, say, what about a little kiss before I go? Uh, that's not part of the service. Besides, I don't kiss strange men. Oh, no, wait, wait. Now, I'm not strange. Well, I'd hate to put that to a vote. <laughs> oh, come on. Just to show no hard feelings. Well, all right. <laughs> How was that? Well, they're certainly freezing a lot of things these days. Sure. 
of you. Don't sit on the apple tree with anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. Anyone else but me. No, no, no. Don't sit on the apple tree with anyone else but me. Till I come marching home. Don't you walk no lover's way with anyone else but me. With anyone else but me. Anyone else I just got word from a guy who heard from the guy next door to me that a girl he met just loves to pet and fits you to a T. So don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me till I come marching home. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. With anyone else but her. No, 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 not a single soul but me. No, 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 don't you sit under the apple tree. With anyone else but me, not till you see me, not until you see me marching home, 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 sweet home. Don't go walking down lover's lane with anyone else but me. With anyone else but me, anyone else but me. No, 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 don't go walking down lover's lane with anyone else but me. Till I come marching home. coming out to support our Bob Hope crew as we practice our lines and our song. Bob and the stars who travel with them bring a slice of home to the soldiers. And as we travel America, we want to remind everyone here that they can support our soldiers over there. And those soldiers and sailors and Marines aren't strangers. They're that young father from down the street, or those teen boys who never graduated so they could join the military and fight. They're counting on us, not only for our war bond money, but for our sacrifices. The grease from your bacon, the produce from your victory garden, the miles you walk, so they'll have fuel for their machines. And the old rusted metal you collect from the neighborhood and give, so the na nation can convert it into new fighting weapons to place in the hands of that young father from down the street or that kid who grew up and never graduated. So join the battle. They're counting on us. Don't let them down. Buy bonds. Buy bonds now. Thank you, Private Coleman. And thank you, the Amber Sisters and the musicians of the 34th ID Red Bull Show Band. And thank you, the staff here at Old Fort Snelling in Minneapolis, Minnesota. For all of the U.S. Oak Group, thanks for listening. And keep buying those bonds. This is the Armed Forces Radio Network. Thank you so very much for being here. Have a wonderful rest of the day at the port.